we have some data that we would like to find out whether or not it is normally distributed or not. I actually have two data sets. I have one here called nausea, where I've taken 30 patients post-surgery and asked them how much nausea they're feeling, with zero being no nausea, 10 being severe nausea. We'll do that first, then we'll get to our weights in a minute. All right, so of our patients who have nausea, I want to know, is their nausea level normally distributed? The way we check for normal distribution is we do two graphs. If the first graph is good, we continue to the second graph. If the first graph is bad, we don't even have to continue. The first graph is a histogram. I'm just going to make a simple histogram of these nausea levels. So I'm going to go to Graph, Histogram, and I'm going to do a simple histogram, say OK, of the nausea amounts. And I'm just going to say OK. I'm not even worried really about the axes and the title. I just want to look at it and say, does it look remotely like a normal distribution? Well, a normal distribution should be roughly symmetric, highest in the middle, fall away as you go to the ends. This is none of those. This is not symmetric. It's highest all the way on the left-hand side. It's not highest in the middle. It doesn't fall away as you go down away from the middle. It goes up and down and up and down. This is so far from a normal distribution, I am sure it is not normally distributed, and I'm not even going to go on to the second graph. Great. That one was easy. Not normally distributed. Let's deal with the weights. Here I have the weights of 120 men, and I would like to know are the weights normally distributed? So, start the same way. I'm going to make a histogram. So graph, histogram, a simple histogram, say OK. I want weight, and I'm going to say OK. And here I get a histogram. This one looks a lot better. It is much closer to a normal distribution. It's not perfect. It's not perfectly symmetric. I see it's got a dip and then an up again. But it is highest, closest to the middle. It's roughly symmetric. I'm not looking for perfection in a histogram, because real data is rarely perfect. But I'm looking for it to be close. You guys would agree that that last one, well, let's look at it again. Oh, I lost it. I'll have to find it. Here it is. That last one was nowhere close. This one, much closer. It ha it's highest in the middle. It falls away on this side, falls away on that side. It's not perfectly symmetric, but it's not bad. That's pretty close. So I'm going to go on to the second graph. The second graph is called a normal quantile plot. In Minitab, it's called a probability plot. So I'm going to go to Graph probability plot. The reason it's called a probability plot in Minitab is it doesn't just have to be a normal distribution. It can be done for many distributions. We're only going to use it for a normal distribution. So I want just a single probability plot. And here I could click distribution if I didn't want normal. But don't worry about that. We're never going to use this for anything but a normal distribution in this class. So I'm just going to tell it I want to graph weight. And I'm going to say OK. And it's going to make a graph for me. Now, the way that Minitab makes this graph is it puts dots. These dots represent all my different data points. But there's a center line here, that central line. Ideally, if all my dots were exactly on that central line, I would have a perfect normal distribution. So I'm looking for my dots to pretty closely approximate that center line. And then these other two lines are kind of boundaries to give me ideas of where my data shouldn't fall outside of it too much. If I have a lot of my data outside those two boundary lines, that's a problem. I have a couple down here and one maybe up here. But for the most part, my data is inside those two boundary lines. So that's good. This could be normal. It's pretty close to this. That's good, to that center line. That's good. The other thing I want to look for is any other pattern. If it had a wavy pattern, like water waves, it went up and down and up and down and up and down, that'd be bad. Or if it had a huge curve to it, that would be bad. If it had any pattern other than about a line, that would be bad. But here, I don't really see any pattern other than a line. Most of my data points are within the two boundaries. I would say, yeah, there's a good chance that this is normally distributed. I would believe this is normally distributed data.